You know, there's a lot of different snapping syndromes in the body. I love snapping syndromes. So one of the snapping syndromes is snapping scapula syndrome. There's snapping hip syndrome. You know, and you, you would think like, oh, you get some massages, you know, you do some exercises, and, you know, that should take care of it. But often for those conditions, it, it's not curative, whereas prolotherapy can be curative. And the reason is that most bones are snapping against tendons or muscles because the underlying joint is unstable. So think about it. So say somebody had a subluxation of a rib, and now the rib's popped out. Well, the rib's not supposed to be popped out. What does the scapula lie on? The scapula lies on ribs. So in other words, you could have an underlying rib issue. You could have slipping rib syndrome, or you could have a thoracic subluxation of the vertebrae, you know, causing the rib to pop out. And now the scapula, when you move your shoulder and the scapula is moving, it rubs on the underlying ribs. So that could be one cause of snapping scapula syndrome. Also, if you have a shoulder joint instability, remember the scapula is half of the shoulder joint. Like we always think of the arm as the shoulder joint. The shoulder joint is the scapula, the glenoid surface, and then the humeral head. That's what makes up the shoulder joint. So, so if you have an injury of the shoulder, you have an injury of the shoulder causing instability, you have a labral tear, or you have one of the ligaments, the glenohumeral ligaments, or one of the ligaments around the shoulder that's been stretched and torn, and now there's excessive movement of the scapula, what's going to happen? The scapula is going to rub against the rib. The scapula is going to rub against the rib. So the most common causes of chronic scap snapping scapular syndrome is going to be either subluxation where the rib attaches to the vertebrae, there's ligament injury there, or there's ligament injury where the humeral head attaches to the scapula. So there's shoulder joint instability or instability where the rib attaches to the vertebrae. Both of those things respond very good to prolotherapy. Prolotherapy by tightening the labrum, repairing the labrum, repairing the ligaments, either the shoulder joint ligaments like the glenohumeral ligament or the vertebral, uh, vertebral, costal, costal vertebral ligaments that connect the ribs to the vertebrae by stimulating repair of those then you, not only do you get rid of the instability, but the scapula stops moving around so much and rubbing on the ribs. So great treatment for it. It's a very effective treatment. Normally we see people every four to six weeks, and most people need three or four visits.